Yeah, that's right. Uh, Vamp Survivor Student C is kind of brutal. It's also uh, not that easy on a normal even. If you need to run into the caves for anything, because, you know, maybe the item that you want to get in addition is in the case, and you got this fucking amount of ogres everywhere. Yeah, they, they can be super awful. And it depends what you have, right? If you have a few weapons that are very good at dealing uh, a great amount of damage in a small amount of area, especially if you can control it, like knives, actually, or blades or something like that, then this is it's not as uh, difficult. But if you have something that you really need to move, then you suddenly have a very, very small amount uh, of space where you have to move, and, well, get fucked. Anyways, as you may see or not... Oh, yeah. It's super hilarious because of all the movements they, they do, right? Or do you mean actually with the pentagram skill? Does it change anything? I mostly simply took uh, movement related skills in addition to a uh, normal uh, stuff, so it adds on, uh, adds on that. <laughs> Every second! Holy shit! Uh, I still need to find enough kappas. I had like 2000 at the first run, or something like that, and then I didn't get any again. But maybe I should stop running inverse, maybe it's better then. Anyways, back to the game. Uh, as you can see, we are already in Arboris, so the last time uh, when we did the mission, the game crashed. Yeah, I, I was there, but I didn't get any. Or didn't count, I'm not sure. But I, I, like I said, I did it at inverse, so... Who knows, maybe that didn't count in there or something like that. I need to try it again. Anyways, we are now in Aboris. So, the last time we did this... Uh, it crashed at the beginning of the Assassin mission, and it crashed at the end of the other mission. And so I did these two missions, uh, finished them on my own. It actually worked without a crash, so I'm not sure why it crashed at all. And then flew to Aboris, did a few stuff in between. You've been playing Clanner, well, it's fine as long as you as you deal with these stupid BAs. The Clanners are, are very strong. It sucks that you can't kick, and the BAs of your fellow Clanners, oh, they're so, so, so getting on your nerves. Anyways, um, I did a few small changes to the max, for, to the new gear. Um, oh god, melee against the clanners, that could be very ugly. Uh, Ista has a new skill ready, you don't. I guess Ista wants to go, I don't know, he wants to go piloting actually. So that's on him, not on me, so he doesn't get gunnery. I mean, kicking is, is amazing, a uh, uh, pilot. Hi, hi Ista then. Kicking is amazing. Just as soon as they got BAs, it no longer works. You have to stop Training. doing anything in regards to that. Uh, do you want to take a point in gunnery or maybe guts too, is there? No? Okay. So I did a few changes to the mech base, mostly because I had the money and no longer have that now. Oh, okay. Well, then it's super easy. <laughs> then it's super easy. Um, actually, the road handler even needs seven more days, so we we'll probably need to wait for that. Let's see. Did I change this one guy? No. The only change to the Phoenix Hawk is uh, change the ammunition to uh, precision ammunition. The Raptor kept his ERMs. Now, the Cicada. Yeah, and I think I read, if you do swarm attacks but uh, disable the melee weapon, then it no longer lags. It was written in uh, in the Discord somewhere. And I think they're still working on fixing it, but that was another reason why I said, nah, thanks, uh, I'm fine for now. And do something else. Besides, of course, I want to see the new content, right? Right, let me take a look at the Cicada, or le rather, let me show off the Cicada, which I ruined, of course, right? Uh, I have now four or five lasers and two S lasers. I could take one more normal laser, but then it wouldn't have fit in the S laser. And I took out the normal laser against the S laser because of the heat efficiency. I'm barely 60 uh, at all. So there's that. The only way that I will end up the core to a 300 again. It's no 320, but at least it's a 300. 
Should I aim to get a heatsink DHS and add it in there and get the better heatsinks, then maybe we can uh, go to battle later or something like that. But for now, since the idea is to rush close and shoot them, I think it's fine like that. Uh, the Oscout. scout uh, I switched out the ERMs to ERM laser C's. And... I think that mostly was it. I'm not sure if I changed anything else. I th think I had to change something because I needed another heatsink or something like that. Because you run pretty hot. The Witwerf... Well, he finally got his engine XL. And we now have an LRM 15 and 10, so plus 5. We still have one ton remaining. Uh, problem is I'm not sure what to take there, since uh, LM10 is 5, LM2, uh, LM5 is 2, and LM15 is 7. So I could take this out against another LM15 and then throw out the MAC yet again, maybe. I have to see what we can do with that. But overall, now it has 5 more. And it's a little bit faster, I think I upgraded it a little bit. Since he has the mask running us on, that's fine. And what I did to the Royal Sentinel, I built out the gauze against something else. Let's see, I can't show it yet, let's just wait. Uh, if I'm completely insane, it was a UAC and a large laser. Uh, actually, Ista again makes problems here. What did Ista do? Ista was caught sneaking through the Argus ventral airlock last night from the outside. Ista was her gaze. Apparently, she managed to jimmy the door open without alerting anyone. I just had to. It's so peaceful out there, floating free just me in the stars. No explosions, no sweltering cockpit, just calm and quiet. Um... I don't know, I, this year I want to, I don't want to take. If I say, yeah, okay, we do it just once more, but then it's over, right? Or we say, hey, if you tell us how you did that... Yeah, I, I want to know how, uh, how they did it. Maybe you get a small tech bonus or so. Uh, nothing. So no bonus, uh, but they lost Rebellious. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. After all, I think these stats do doesn't really do anything negatively for us. They simply lead to other events or not. Right, stop being rebellious then. Wait for four more days. Ah yeah, and since the uh, travel was quite long, we also proceeded a little bit more. We got more and repair and refit in there. We are working now on the better system here, we got a recreation in there, and then as soon as I got a little bit of money, we will be adding more tech base. But it costs me like 900k, and it was kinda expensive to build up uh, all the other stuff. And uh, now that we actually finished, let's take a look at the Royal Sentinel. Um, I have now an UAC-5, instead of a... Uh, instead of a Gauss Cannon. Uh, we have a little bit less step, 10 less step to be exact, damage is slightly bigger. Uh, and in addition to that, we could add another L laser. My idea is, as soon as I get a, a better Jiro, because it's actually quite close. As you can see, I have half a ton remaining. The large laser is tonnage of 5, and this beauty here is 9. So if you can get it lower, just a little bit, like two or three uh, kilos, uh, kilos tons, and maybe get a core around 200 or 220. You can set it and then have two UAC 5. That's my idea for the mech. For now, uh, it's time to finally actually start. And we arrived at a, a planet with one skull, so I guess we simply start with the easier ones and work ourselves with the stronger ones. Uh, we got here a recovery and a destroy base and a solo duel actually. Uh, let's check that. Wait. Before we check it out, 
I, I'm not doing it, I want to, just want to save our configuration. Because I think we didn't do that yet. Mm. Save, you can be my new default. Confirm that. And let's check, take a look at the solo duel. Uh, Salvage is 2 8 of, as a maximum. Against the Oregans, actually, they shouldn't be too strong. So I'll probably take the money, 1 6 should be fine, and it's only 1 mech. How is the 35 tons max, he says. So that would be an Oz Scout or maybe the Raptor. I actually think we could take a, a spin with the Raptor here. Because the Raptor is quite an ugly beast. Running around with all these ERM lasers. That is nasty. And we also are fully armored, so I think we can do this. If not, we lose a mech we don't currently use. Um, which might be Knessel can take that one. Sure, it's no punch mech, but maybe you at least get a little bit of experience, right? So that you can level up your punching. Man, I'm really disappointed at the faction store of the Oregans. It sucks so, so much. And they don't even have the Royal Kintaro in there. I was really hyped when I saw there as a Royal Kintaro and I would really love to get it. But no, you can't get it. Very sad. Solo Duel, created by Seawolf, made with Mission Control Designer. That's right, uh, they extended the duels to, know, uh, to have more maps than the dual maps. Perhaps we'll find a lost civilization here. So it's actually quite far, so it should, it should be fine if you rush closer. Uh, I'm not sure what that was, I just saw it for a short second. Didn't look too dangerous though. Let's see if we can. Oh, yeah, she comes out for us. I'm your spaniel. Uh, so, hmm, where do we want to go though? Let's just keep to the woods maybe. Oh, yeah, he has a high ground and I cannot reach him yet. But let's see. <laughs> hey, we are now Sith, right? I'll just mind my own business. Uh, it's a javelin actually. Oh, that was kinda unlucky that we got hit at all. But let's see, how is the build up? Well, oh look at this! He only has LM15s! Wouldn't, wouldn't it be a shame if I rush close? Commander. Going full I mean, I guess he can punch me, right? But still, he only has LM15s. That was super unlucky. It was only one hit in there. Let's see what he does. Uh, I guess he walks like 5 meters to the left. And then does nothing. Man. I'm going. Perfect, man. Perfect. Feel the power of pink! Ready for orders. And you know what? I don't think I will actually... I will actually move. I simply will stay here and... Kill his ass. Kicking him again. And then shoot all of that in his backside. Yep. That was the easiest duel I've ever had. And the easiest 300k I've ever made. I mean, yeah, it's, it's all crap anyway. So, and we will get all parts in addition, so there's that. 
Actually, part two, uh, two or three of Javelin. And another LM15. Hmm. I mean, we have a few more days until the end of the month, right? So, we could outfit the Witwerf, or the, the bit Worthless, with an LM15 instead of an LM10. It's just one tonnage I think I need to take out somewhere else. Let's take a look. So nice. Uh, man, the pink color it gets me every time. Hey! I wanted to click on the bit worth. I guess I was a little bit too fast for that. And the pink is amazing. Kinda scares me a bit, you know. So... Let's see. How heavy are you? Tonnage want. What if I made it like this? It's half a ton less. The speed does not really go o uh, out. And do I have another free heatsink in that case? I do. I mean, I don't really need it, right? I actually need rather the opposite. <laughs> well, actually, it's helpful. You are running kinda hot. Mm. I mean, I don't need the arms anyway, so let's reduce them a little bit. 45 and 1, 2. Look at this, and now we've got an LM30 instead of the standard LM20 we had a few days earlier. Rather cheap and only two days. Okay, let's wait this two days longer. Hey, we also get the Argo upgrade. And yeah, we still need to make money. I'm Look, it was only five and I didn't want to reduce the arms even more. Uh, anyways, let's build a mech bay. So we are basically poor again. Training modules come later. We first need to get our mech roster up and running. And maybe our uh, recreation also. I hate this message. Uh, let's see. So we got retrial and smugglers. Let's go with the recovery first. There's next to no money in it. It's against the Federated Suns, where we actually came from. Uh, I don't even know if we want to have more parts, though. Doesn't really matter, because the money is so bad, right? 70k, that's like nothing. On the other hand, Will we have more than 12? Ah, it doesn't matter, it's only 30k less or more. Uh, let's reload our old... Our old Lance here. Poor Gnarl had his chance, the Dueler. Let me see, maybe we get two cores. So we start at the edge of the world, literally, here's the end of the map, and our map here stands directly before the border. And oh god, it's a long, long way. Let's see, we start here, and our predicted targets are around... What's actually here? Is it here? Then... What is this then here? 
uh, a bit confused. Okay, so, so I guess we're looking at this here. I'm not sure what these two are though. Maybe landing zones? Anyways, I guess... Is this the river or roads here? Well, it looks like it to be a very, very long way. Uh, these seem to be roads, so let's just follow the roads down to here, I guess. And then, I don't know, go the water to here? Something like that. This will take a while. So get yourself a, something to drink or something like that, because it will way. easily five minutes. Well, maybe not that much, but it will really take a while. That. We are here. That's a stupid way, actually. It's the I think you can typically go through this. Well, I'm not sure if you can actually. Not with all vehicles. We're trying to map around here. Here, looking to here. The normal way would be, I don't know, to go like here, I guess, and then slowly walk down. Moving. Because I got a few mechs and uh, the artillery, of course, they are kind of slow, so I would like to continue using the road for them. All right, let's get down to it. Blue border confirmed. Moving out. On my way. Yeah, I would like to have actually have a, a higher engine on the Vidworth, but then I would need to take out some of the other parts, so I'm, not, I'm a bit conflicted about that. Um, let's see, where is this actually? The map is not really helpful, it would be cool if, we, if they would change. We are standing around here, and I guess this pool here is the deep part here. So I guess we walk over the aerated wasteland and go like this. In motion, Commander. On the move. I don't think we saw enemies. They are directly around here. Okay, and there are well a few small vehicles. Doesn't look dangerous at all. Uh, any closer? Well, uh, we are getting slowly closer. The idea was last time to slowly go to the mission, where we get like, let's say between 20 days or something like that, right? And simply take the missions on the planets that we can do at that time. And so currently we are on our Asarad sun. We are on a one skull planet of the Matriarchy, I think. No, that's the Matriarchy. Ah, oh, but we see. What do you want? Well, that's actually kind of nasty what I saw there. I don't. My way, Commander. This evil thing here got a streak LM10. Uh, I'm not sure I, wa I want to see this. But yeah, uh, we, will, we are getting closer, but it will take a while. And of course, we cannot rush directly down there. Because we need money, we need to upgrade our stuff, and so on and so forth. The traveling is expensive, and so on and so forth. And so, yeah, we... Can I get that still? I can, right? Ah. Uh, and so, it will simply take a while until we are there. But we are making our way there. Lowly, but we do. Ah, at least you are mostly disabled, there's this I guess. I actually have a firing solution there. 15% though is kinda low. Ta -da -da. 
Well, it's better than nothing. I don't think I have anything other to do, or do I? Well, you're not much danger actually. And if I can just center lock you and then fire rockets and artillery at you. Oh, we actually got a mech, a javelin. Full, <laughs> full with M lasers. He actually has also quite the amount of armor, but that probably means he doesn't have much space for. Uh, for heat sinks. He's a nimble jumper in addition. Oh, he has DHS heat sinks actually. Man, I would love to get my hands on this. But we'll see what we can do, right? So, we could fire at you. Or you. Uh, let's just con concentrate on you, I guess. Take the rockets out as you can. And now the RT though. Where do we want to go with you? I guess moving closer to the conflict as much as we can. And see if we can get a nice hint. Oh, that 7717, that was quite okay. What's up, boss? Mm, actually, all of you got a quite a nice amount of evasion pips, so. You can just reserve and hopefully let them move first. Ah, they don't do this, of course. Well, what's their problem? On the other hand, I don't see my targets here any longer. That's nah, not so nice. Three, three, three evasion pips. I don't like this uh, uh, either. How about you get in the woods with six, get closer here. That's not enough to see them, I guess. But at least they need to do something. Uh, let's put this away. I think my heat management was pretty close, so I'm not sure I want to activate Battle Lord just yet. You're basically disabled, so let's just hope we get a few lucky hits in there for now. Well, that was one, I guess it could be worse. What do you want? Alright, so you moved, you moved, and the Saracen moved to here. Uh, kind of interesting, actually. Because I don't really care about you, I care about you, but... Bleh. Your vision is kinda high. Yeah, yeah, then maybe let's use the Witwer, stay on top, get closer, and let's see what we can do from our position here. 50, 50, 43, 37. Let's see if we can damage this thing a little bit more. Yeah, looked not too shabby. It's a weird APC Mark II actually. And we don't care about you at all, right? Right. Yes. We don't. So, what would be a nice target? Chance nearly 40% before we do anything. And it's now 40%. Um, 45 actually on the striker, but again, it only has this, so. Yeah, let's try to go for more hits. Come on, zero? Uh, only if it's on the way. Careful. Uh, we try to make our way to where Sanctuary is attacking. Uh, and it will take a while. And if you have uh, a few game worlds on that, uh, on our way, right? Then, okay, I can t try to prioritize this. Uh, not anytime soon, at least. Firing all 
Not the UAC completely misses. Damage minimal. Right, Javelin moved. Uh, Good to go. My poor artillery actually has uh, bad targets, but at least he can move a little bit closer, so I guess there's that. Here we go. I guess he simply try to shoot somewhere there. Or there, I don't know. Or just attack the ground somewhere. Like, I don't know. Here. Affirmative. I think we hurt at least the other one a little bit. Alright, what can you do? Well, move fucking <coughs> a little bit closer, is what I want to say. Not and then what? You're. I should have done that earlier, actually, because you are now affected by my outscout sensor. Um, we have quite a nice fine solution on you, but you only got the streaks again. The Saddle Saint, I kinda hate. Um, I guess. If Will I active probe you? I don't know, you are in the, in the last round, so probably it's not worth it. So sure, let's just attack the striker. I mean, I had the Vitra from, from the start. It was one of my starting mechs. Yeah, I know it's a bad mech, but I didn't have any better mech. And the Vitra is still better than the stupid Blackjack Omni. I mean, I, I'm I made uh, uh, I missed a boat out of him, right? And LM him. thirty, so it's not that bad. True, I would have loved of another mech. Internal damage. It's kind of ugly. Nice, not attack striker mech. I should have done that uh, the very first thing, not the very last thing. And of course it's really stupid to go with such a light mech against a quite heavy mech. Yes. Oh come on! Where did you get injured? You broke your arm. I hate this when this happens. Alright, so where should we start with them? So many targets. Uh, maybe let's start with Quintuple. Is the artillery around here. The Oscout can. Well, maybe. I'm not sure if he, he probably can take it, but let's not risk it, right? So let's just go to, I don't know, here and kick uh, his teeth in. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing that you missed with a, with a prone target. But what can you do, right? Right, can double uh, gets even closer. Well, should be actually. If we fire from here without doing anything, yeah, the chance is kind of low, and I guess the reason is the distance, right? Uh, indirect fire, yeah, medium range. All right, so move closer. We barely had the range, so there's that. Yeah, it's now actually around the same thing. Um. Let's see what we can hit. The oh. That was a really good hit. What is it already? Alright. Yes, the Royal Sentinel. Uh, this here would be a charge and I don't really want to do this, so it's a no. Um, could... Actually we had a pretty good chance to hit this thing and it's damaged quite nicely. If you go like there, we have Double five down. evasion pips. Uh, ah, I shouldn't have run so close. Actually, no, it's because the target moved, you moved self hit difference, and the gunnery is kind of sucky. Oh, but he got a hit in. Just one? But he got one in. What is it already? Um, good question. I want to. S Actually, yeah, let's go crazy at least once. This card is also able to tank it if necessary. I already saw an orange number which is very nice and now all these lasers. Yep, yeah it is. Both legs destroyed actually. 
with a max, well not the max salvage, but want? nearly max salvage. And again, you only have the streak. Uh, the bit worth. I think I can let him stay where he is, right? And keep shooting at the Saracen. I want to take this out if possible. Hedge arms are quite nice. So let's just soften them up even more. So if so if Hunter comes to the left side or maybe even the front, he what could be already? done already. So let's just walk there. And let's hope we can hit the, the Saracen. 60% chance. With four shots, I wonder needs two. I got one. Of course I get only one shot in. <laughs> Man. Four times sixty and I hit once. Just a scratch, Commander. Order. Right, so you will still be moving and you too, and I really want to take you out if I can. But it's actually this is right side, yeah. Right side, uh, also kind of damaged. So let's go to here. Add on the precise strike, and let's hope that we hit the right side or the front with two. I saw orange numbers, but actually it was not enough. God damn it! Five. He had five left. What do you want? Well, now it's really uh, kick them. Destroy this thing. Commander. And there you Take go. This. Take that. Bastard. The second and third. Um, second was the guy yeah, meditating, bastard. right? And the third was the one with the with the streaks. Actually, the second one really sucked. No, the second one is very weird. I had a free run with him. The first run was super good because his speed thing activated all the time and I was just running around and killing everything. Amazing. I thought, actually not that bad. And did it again and it didn't activate for five minutes and I was getting crazy. Uh, needle thing is also a little bit weird. It's great if... Uh, you, uh, if you can evolve it, then it's really good. Because uh, then it goes over the whole fucking screen and it was amazing. But if you do not do this, then it sucks. It really sucks. Uh, serving is nice, yeah. The text, just stay where you are and kill this thing. See? Woodworth is not bad. I mean, it's certainly not good, right? So, there's that. But, uh, it has no LM30. Hey, Greybeard. So, that's not all that terrible. Uh, so there's no target anymore. Just go and brace. That stupid injury, I hate it so much. Moving. Right. Position confirmed. Neutral, just stay where you are. A long range artillery. Oh, that's it already? Oh. I actually made minus money. 
<laughs> I've never had that before, I think. Uh, 100 kills was actually easy. I simply went uh, into the library, and after 15 minutes or so, I had 100 kills with both. What in uh, mech are you on? Uh, we are still quite early, it's like the third or fourth stream. And we got 45, 40, 40, 45, 40 and 55. Yeah, I, I know, I know. It's just that the mission paid so badly so that I decided to go full salvage. And, well, yeah, I was in, actually in the minus with, with once. I know it can happen, so on, but it never did happen before that, you know. Uh oh yeah, let's just take a few cores. There goes the money for that. Sadly no heat sinks. Um let's take the FF2 I guess. And let's see what you get in addition. You got one M laser, the three SMM2s, the streaks. Well, I got a few of them automatically, but I, the problem is I need a heatsink uh, kit for that first. Because I don't have a heatsink kit lying around. That's my biggest problem. I actually saw the uh, the bullshit we got. Actually, we got the locust still sitting around. Off you go. Um, and that's sell. Uh, we actually got five feet sink these by now. So where are the bad cores? Why are they ordered this way? I certainly don't want you or you. Uh, I think that's what the same. Well, I don't need so many of those, so let's sell them. Actually, you are the same, so let's sell the 150. And the other is fine. So, we are back with a little bit of money. No. Eight, 18 days for nothing, I hate this. Report in 8 days, so I guess Franco will need to take a break. Let's go then for this uh, destroy base mission that's against the three worlds. Money is much better. Uh, they probably have one or two mechs and a few turrets. Um, I'm not sure. I think I go with 312 simply and get a little bit of money at least in. Oh, my god, what happened to him? Was he completely taken out? Oh, the Oscar needs to be repaired. Forgot about this. Uh, it's probably one day only. Uh, one day here, one day there, I guess. It's got all this stupid uh, pierced ammo, I guess. Job is done. Right. So now we can do it. Kill by injuries, ah, oh, that's very sad. Yeah, that's true, Gnavel, it's a very good point. Actually, we can take Gnavel instead of me, so that you can get your punching up. Uh, I guess, but I think the bonus here is quite nice. 
if I don't use my command in battle, I get a small bonus. If not, then there's that. Didn't even notice it was urban. I should have because you usually get a bonus payment then. And we are directly in the action. Major Athlete Jones. Right, let's see. Destroy the garrison and the base in itself, of course. And actually, there's no bonus to keeping the base, uh, the buildings intact. So, in theory, you could just stay here and simply shoot at everything. Uh, that's one max 35 tons. There are many turrets and so on. Good to go. Yeah, it doesn't. It's some. It's simply random, right? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's not go onto the building. Can I see what this actually is? No, we don't. Well, we got a light laser turret. We got a light MIM turret. I don't really like this. Uh, quite medium laser turret. And what is this? Oh. oh. <laughs> I have a sniper turret. Well, we definitely don't like this. How could you miss a turret that's not moving? Well, let's see what we got. We got an up armored Saladin. Uh, not well. Thanks for destroying the building. Lots of armor. What else do we have? That looked very disappointing with how wide the rockets went. And the Pegasus SRM. Uh, I'm, I guess at least they can be used as cannon fodder. They're not very exciting though. Nothing like our coiled up Irby, right? Man, that was amazing. I still remember this fondly when we had this hero urban mech with his coil, took out one mech and instantly burnt. This was amazing. What a chat. Right. I'm receiving you. So the Phoenix Hawk. Actually, why not go down there? Oh, uh, what technically this would be a long way. Let's just walk down here. On the way. Double time. Let me take out this one. Well, maybe. I should get at least one hit in, right? Welcome to my alpha strike. Or even... No, oh, one hit. Of course it's only one. Waiting for orders. Right. Uh, you're not quite far enough, but you can go to here. Actually, my support is up on a Saladin, a Pegasus SRM, and a Hunter. Eh, could be better, you know. Could be worse, but eh. Let's take out, hopefully, the MM turret. Oh my god! Commander. I really don't have any luck in it, it appears. Going full throttle. Aye, aye. I'm actually tempted to shoot on this, but we probably won't hit it. Uh, let's see... Roughly 40% out of 30, around 12, I guess? 12 times 4 is 48 or so? Well, a little bit more, but still, I doubt it will be enough. But let's just make sure that this turret is destroyed. And you are where? You are here. Actually... Actually... Can you...? Oh yeah, we can go on a building with this. It should give us an amazing uh, hate bonus. We'll go. That was also pretty good. Direct hit. GG! 
you t is this an LRM? Surely your rocket can hit better than this. I mean, you at least you destroyed your turret, but still. Oh, actually, the mech up here. What is it? Oh, an Owens, actually. Well, 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 well. Receiving you. Um, they got this one laser turret left, basically. The other turrets are not that dangerous, so let's just go after the Owens. He also has only three. Let's see, how far can we go, actually? Well, I guess you cannot really reach it. And you probably send it away, but it's fine. So I guess we actually will not do, be doing it. Is it enough to stay in there? No, I think he has the Oscout and the blue one. The Oscout damage bonds and we didn't get that. Uh, I don't know, let's just try to take out this one here. Namaska orange, always good. I don't think you had anything here. Two more. That was very disappointing. That probably was an FTL, so follow the leader. Which means if the first one misses, the others are also missing. Oh, come pick us a little bit faster. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Engine crit and people probe destroyed. Uh, I don't know about this. I mean, I guess I could shoot you in the back, but if I miss, I probably hit my own mech. Stand directly behind it. So how about we move with you first? I guess hitting you is not very good. No, it's not. Right, so... You're long-ranged anyways, more or less. Let's try to get the turret out. Can we even hit it? Of course we can't. Uh, let's try to hit this building then. Maybe we hit the uh, turret in between. Of course, this time we hit everything. But you also move, so now we actually would have the place. But look at this, you can go to here, get green, and high hit chance. Well, that's not a bonus right now, but that could be enough to actually completely destroy it already. Let's see. Yep. Even got two parts out of it. Let's just take the buildings out. Just two more. Actually, it goes kind of quick. This, this is also very nice. Move to here. At Battle Lord. And let's see, you got a small building here. Small, small. It's already injured, so let's go with this one. Yeah, I mean, it's not the best mech, right? But at least an LM30. That's not too shabby. Order. I want just. We can we go f higher? Oh, <laughs> we can't do this, man. Uh, I'd rather not shoot here, else I'd damage the Cicada, but still. Let's take a look at this. Height difference is minus four now. Now, if that wasn't beautiful to climb up, uh, climb up the tower here. Oh, that's actually. Something more here. Uh, can you see on yeah. the map where this is? Uh, around. Oh, look at this! The turret still stands. I completely forgot about it. Um, where are you actually? You're here. Well, let's destroy the turret too then, right? It's a bonus money after all. <sighs> Did you really have to miss with the other laser yet again? Oh yeah, they also got a Rotunda Recon Vehicle. I completely missed that somehow. Alright. Much money.
think we got 30% even. But we also get 3 out of 12 parts. And that means we can have the slave and both owned parts. Which actually means we get our own owens. They're usually quite nice, so we probably will make one. And we got everything. Actually, 12 items received, 12 items in total. Basically, perfect. Do we have space left that we don't? Well, I guess we need to wait until we have our tip upgrade done then. Uh, we can, all, however, already prepare the max. Yeah, but I want to just do it so that I can put it in storage. That's kind of ugly because I would like to sell the javelin, you know, and I can't do this now. Oh well. Um, let's see, on this difficulty we've got two missions, defend the base, which is usually quite easy. Uh, also well paid and good salvage, so maybe, maybe we stay at 3-3. And then ammunition convoy. Also well paid. Uh, against which? Pirate? Yeah, against the pirates. And the wolves against the Oregans. Well, we hate the Oregans right now, I decided. 313, 418. Let's go with this. I want to get, uh, get a little bit of money out of it. But also get uh, a nice amount of salvage. So we go with 313 and 300, 400k. Maybe we get a few bonus payments and then it's worth our time. Dim, dim, dim. Alright, let's see, we are urban yet again. Actually, this would, be, would have been nice on money. We could money. For this, 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 and this, it's all bonus. Alright, sorry, so where's our base actually? This is my base. Uh, I think so. Oh, yeah, we are, oh, yeah, we are working at the, for the Capellans right now, for the Warcrime faction, I think. Uh, okay, just do away with this, show me the map. We are here, that's actually an interesting... No, we are not here. Oh, are we? Are we actually here? Oh yeah, we are here. That's actually quite nice. Because the biggest problem you usually have is that you don't know where the second and third wave are coming from. And in my case, since we are directly at the border, it means they cannot come from here. So they must come from somewhere here, and that means we can easily reach uh, each wave. Of course, if they, if they directly land in the base, then we are fucked, but I hope not. Alright, I guess this here is my convoy. Convoy is very far out. On the other side, there are all vehicles and on road, so they should be quite quick. And I'm not seeing any enemies Standing so by. far. Which is a bit weird. Okay, base is here, so I guess I'll simply go exploring a little bit. Uh, maybe with the Carter, here's my escort zone. Confirmed. So 
just a little bit to the left, to the right, hopefully getting a little bit more sensors in to see more things. Ah, and there we got the enemy contact actually. Ooh, it's a bit nasty, they are actually on the way. Yes, Commander. Huh. <laughs> you go up there and then I put you on top of this thing yet again. That will be so funny. Um the bit worth already is on the building, I guess, so I can't move him. Um I don't know, should I keep him there? Well, let's just get him on the higher buildings. But this is actually hard to kill. Oh, this is, that's the ability from Tex. Gains plus two pilot health after just showing up. Well, that's nice. How should I know? I want to go closer with you. Alright, battle start -o. So, where are you moving to? You're moving through here. I guess that's okay. You're going through the park, so you lose a little bit of your speed. But afterwards, you can just rush down the streets. Yeah, Commander. Let's see, your scout. I want to know who you are, so let's just go into uh, the woods here with seven evasions. I'm and let's take a look. We got a panther, a javelin, and a commando. Commando has SRM 10, but he is sensor critted. Uh, sadly, the common damage to SRM doesn't really count. Javelin, LM15, similar, and Panther, also similar. Oh look, we got, I'm not really sure if you can see that, but we got someone that I need to ban. Delete, ban. We got bot, exactly, exactly. There he goes. Um, yeah. Not much sure what we can do. Just... Actually? How big would this be? Only you. Mm. No, just send lock the panther then. Just so that the PPC doesn't hit something lock. and maybe even destroy something. We don't want this. We already moved, so we can simply go and reserve. And actually, you only have, what, two evasion? That will hurt, because my artillery will shoot on you. Um... I'm your spaniel. Let's see. This is my lack. What can we do? Oh, actually, from here on, we could take a shot. It's probably super far, but... 34%. Well, it's not super bad, but in the end, I don't want you to hit my Oscout, which you are capable of doing, so... Don't do anything yet, Gnaffle. Let them make another move. Alright, I see. We can go is like this. Seven pips. Hit chance is not that bad, actually. Uh, let's take it. Uh, I'm not sure if we hit anything in this mech. Well, he's unsettled, so maybe we did. But I think we, yeah, we hit this building here, we hit that building there, so uh, if I want the bonus, I can't shoot artillery any longer. Yeah, I guess the bonus was never really possible. Orders. Let's say it like this. On. Yeah, let's just center lock him. Shoot the artillery on the on the panther and watch how our bonus goes away because we will be destroying these buildings. But before we do that, very soon we will be on top here. Very soon. Yeah, yeah, we got the buildings, but that's just how it is, right? So what did we do with you? Well, we destroyed the SM4. Could be better, could be worse, I guess. But then we just still can't go out of that. I want you to move to like here or here. That's my idea. Okay, anyway, shoot the panther. Well, that's quite far. That's where the hits come from, I guess. 
Yeah, max range plus six, but still, a few can hit, and he's already injured after all. And all these orange numbers, sadly nothing exploded. Very sad. Alright, so where are you guys going? You're not going anywhere, it appears. I did at least. Oof, did you just hit the Zikada? Yes, you did. Ah, uh, that's just reserve. Confirmed. That's an interesting way to go. Why not go down there? Well, you sent a lock the commando. So there's that. Ooh, that was a stupid decision. Because since you only move to here, I can simply shoot uh, this guy here and take you down with him. First, let's go big. Oh, not erratic. No, no, no. Alright, and let's get at the top of the building. Because why not? And uh, target this one guy. I actually could also target this. This one. Mm, let's see, how are you looking? I'll just go for the javelin, maybe. We'll go. Yeah, let's ignore the buildings. Oh, look at this man. I'm here. Um, Commander? Let's see. Let's, let's take the worthless first. Uh, the worth. Mid worth first. Go up there. Chances are 51, 47, and 32. With Battle Lord, we're looking at 44, 57, and 64. Let's try to take out the panda. Only a few hits to the center torso, so that should be... I wanted to say easy, but apparently we didn't take it out. We critted the engine, the, gy the gyro. He's panicked, so I guess it wasn't for, for nothing, but still. For um, Receiving you. I guess you can walk close. I'm actually walking. Very nice. Moving out. And... Well, take out the single mech that is uh, uh, near us. That should be super dead. I think destroyed. There it goes. Yes, Commander. Standing by. If I go to here and shoot at you, chance is quite nice. But right to take it. Did you just miss two shots with 50%? I await your command. The answer is of course, yes you did. Man. Can you kick this guy? You can. I'll oh, just kicking from here. High chance if you hit something from the backside, so... He's probably already dead. And we're already at round 8, so... The next round or two... Huh? In the next round or two we should be getting reinforcements from somewhere. They don't know from there they, where they will be coming. So I'm not sure if the Phoenix Hawk should go somewhere else. But it sh probably is fine if you go to like here. Because then we are in the center and can go to either here or here. Another building. Another mech entry. Yeah, yeah, I, I gathered that. So apparently if you are around here somewhere... Actually, we are seeing it. It's actually quite interesting. Normally, uh, the APCs are there in the first round, or maybe in the second. And now we're already in round 3 or 4, and they are still not there and have activated the turrets.
Right, so... Maybe... Let me take a look where we actually are. Uh, let's see. This is a normal map. And there are a few things coming in from here. We got 20 tons, 30 tons and 35. Um, and, as expected, also come from the other side. With 20, 35 and unknown, actually. So the thing is... You already moved, actually, so maybe you would be a nice target for my artillery. And to also take out this one. Um, I'm not sure about this, though. Are you... <laughs> yeah, let's get closer to here. Uh... And Central Lock you, I want to know. We are and a well Vasp actually interesting. No, don't shoot my ballista on the building. I well sometimes, yeah, but mostly they are they are near the base. a bit sad that they didn't move because that means I cannot really attack them. Yes, um, the, you will be a nice target for the artillery, maybe bring even down this here or so. And then you're also toast, so I think this is very fine. Uh, I think we're fine solution on you. Eh, uh, not that good though. But maybe enough so that you concentrate on the Zikada and not actually attack something else. Let's go battle lot. We are on forty percent. Did we even hit it once? Uh maybe. The javelin with LM15, the vast with SRM2 and M laser. So I really want to take out the javelin if possible. Uh oh. you got still the higher amount of evasion. So you're actually not a, not a good target. Let's see what we can do. I want to go on this building next round with the bit right, So, let's see. Hit is not very high, but what about the building? I assume if I take you, the building will probably be taken down. Well, actually, we hit him quite nicely, but the building survived. Didn't even take a damage, even though it looks damaged. I'm ready. Phoenix Hawk standing around here in the middle. Uh, I could probably use someone that stands around here, but did you already move? Uh, well, a few or should have already moved, so let's go to. I don't know. Here? 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 Let's go to here. And we got a wasp. That apparently moved already. Oh, also, it's disabled SM2. And a panda with a disabled SM4. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. Against the panda. Hit him hard now. Not sure what it did. Well, we hit him at least. So hopefully, they will be targeting us and not the buildings. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Junk. Yeah, you can say that. Uh, you mean this one here? The ballista? Uh, I can show you. Let me just uh, try to do a few more things. Mm, I've got two here and I can shoot there. I've already planned for them. So I guess I want to help out on this side rather. Uh. It actually looks promising. Yes, it was capital maneuvering. Oh, hell yeah. Man, that was not 70% again. Uh, 
Oh, that looked like an artillery or so. Look at this now. Uh, 43, 63, but I want to try to shoot this one here. This one. I actually wanted to, sh to shoot this one, but I lost my lock on. That actually was unexpected, didn't think about that. Hopefully it will be close enough, you'll see. Hopefully at least the bidding goes down. Oh no, that was completely different. Well, he still panicked, so I guess it kinda worked. And we also <coughs> disabled the building so that we can see him again. And now my turrets are also on, so there is that. That was very stupid, Rasp. I cannot go and smack your face in. Light damage. Holding firm. Yeah, maybe, but that's just that's just how it is if you fight in there. That's just how it is. I usually find that it's uh, okay. I mean, of course, if I would just try everything, that would be different. But even if you, if you have like 10 or 20, it's usually okay. It's still worth it. Uh, besides, it's not just your artillery, it's also the, the shots that you need to line up so that there's no building behind uh, your, line of sh your line of vision and so on. And so, it can be very meh if you actually try to go for that. Especially with my luck. I'm not sure if you noticed, but if I have 70% chance to hit, I miss uh, 7 out of 10 shots or something like that, so I don't know why. Yeah, and so I just thought, nope, if I'm missing that much anyways, just ignore it completely from the start, you know. Well, yeah, I should have thought of that. Leading injury also? Well, he has quite a few shots anyways. And he is not very dangerous, so... May. Uh, I'm not... I can only go this way. Four, a chance. Very nice. Now, let's see. I have 80% and 2 times 63 should at least be 2 hits, right? Oh, this time I even got all 3 hits in. That's unusual for me. Panda is basically disabled, by the way. Can't do anything at all. Um, now, what for you? Well, you could go and smash his face in. Maybe I should. Uh, which arm is that that is in danger? The right... well, it's nothing in there anyways, but the right arm... Ah, we can't go to here. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. Copy that. I just want to take you out. Oh, we just the SM2. Eh? The M laser is still there. But the leg is done, you're falling down, you got another injury, and so on and so forth. Oh, you're actually incapacitated. No, you resisted. God damn it. Um, Tex. We also have some fun with you. Up you go. So, you could take a shot at you at the commando. But you're not that dangerous to me, actually. What else do we have available? Well, you, the guy that is lying there with one M laser. Well, so I guess he will be shooting at the commando in the end. Because <laughs> Look at this chance to hit. 
57%. With precise strike it goes to 85. Because pay difference. Ooh, that was nasty. Even though it was from the worthless, right? Uh, it still was worth doing it simply. Now, if, as for you, uh, I want to take a shot at these. So yeah, I will be destroying them yet again. But that's just how it is. You know what? Ten buildings destroyed. The west is being targeted. Could be its end already. Many orange numbers popping up. Many injuries. But he's still alive, I think. Even if barely. Sure, why they're moving away? They could have simply moved closer and attacked the west. Which would have been much nicer. Right, so the Oregon's move, and the first move is to stand up with the half dead Vasp. Good chance it falls down. Well, sadly, it didn't fall down. It just destroyed another building. The poor town. There he goes. Right, uh, as for you. Good question, man. I kinda want to destroy you, but you only have an M laser. And would rather know how you are actually looking. So why not let's take six pips and go Party into your backside. Uh, it's a Hollander actually. How nasty. Uh, they're both nice targets actually. How's your backside? Well, there's nothing much in it, eh? Well, it's still something like 65 at the, at the least. And you got 60, 75. But it won't be targeted, right? So I probably should target this guy here. How does it look if I target you? Oh, what should I go with this? Now let's try this. Oh, this. I saw orange numbers pop up. Leg destroyed. And he's falling down, of course. Very nice. Please take out the vast. Yeah, it's a Fumble Hollander. Very funny mech. There it goes. This vast has no weapon left at all. And he ejects. I'm interested in what the Fumble will do, but probably would be too dangerous. He moves a little bit and then shoots a debut APC. Actually, does a great amount of damage 52, but. That was it. Right. You couldn't do anything. Uh, the lag. What does it work again? Did you have minimum range? No, minimum is zero, so it should be fine. Uh, and Irby, actually. What do you have, Irby? Nothing. You are dead, actually. Hey. Let's lift the dust. See, and that's why you need an open street, because I missed two shots out of 72% chance. And if those would have gone into buildings, the buildings would be trash. It doesn't really matter if you hit with that or not. It's more about kicking it down. And then shoot it in the back? I don't even know. Yeah, in the back. 40. And he panics. Good job. So, we actually don't have much left. You got this, this. Okay, can be. That uh, would be a charge. To shame. Uh, to Chevy. And the other one, the Irby, then. I must see, maybe we can take out the leg. Well, this is the right arm. And the ammo, and the engine, and the right torso. But not the leg. You missed the leg. Oh well. Let's see, the bit worth. Well, you're not a real danger anyways. So actually there was another guy here. 
Can we target that? I should be able to target that, right? I see a blue one. Uh, maybe we need to reposition ourselves. Like this. And add battle lot to it. Yeah, look at this, man. We got a hate difference of minus three to us. Very nice. Let's see what the fumble says to that. Oh, he actually tanked it. Mostly because the damage was spread over everything. In the end, he has lost a total of over 100. Uh, you can't really do anything because the others are too close. And we also don't need it any longer. We shouldn't be in need to destroy even more buildings. There are only one Thumper and one half that Irby, so should be an easy victory. Is the Oregans first? It actually is. No, not my... What did, did you even try to hit, man? Well, let's kick you in the backside. Well, actually, your front is much more damaged than anything else. So maybe not kick you in the backside, but some, but from the front. Let's see. Well, it would be the side anyway, so let's just go with that then. If you can't reach your front, let's just attack you from the back, I guess. And we actually destroyed your front artillery, so he has nothing left. He gets even sensor locked. That is quite mean. Because again, he has nothing left. The Irby! One last hurrah. He attacks uh, the Phoenix Hawk with his S laser. I'm receiving you. And we, of course, we really don't care about that. Simply kick the life out of you. And try to hit you with our LACs after oh. that. And we again had one miss, which probably hit the building. Uh, actually not. We were lucky in regards to that. Uh, we can't really attack you. I think this would be a charge, right? Which, uh, which in all fairness we could do. But simply not needed. Right, let's go to the side. Pretty nice strike. And the chances are very high. Should be his end. No, actually it's not the end, because we hit various different parts. On the other hand, we destroyed the leg. So he will be falling down, and he is panicked, so maybe that's already enough. Hmm. Sadly not. Standing by. Right, Slapdash, you can go and help out of the Hollander. It's already destroyed anyways. Moving to position. Engaging. Actually kicked the whole side away. That was one Reporting kick, and we destroyed the whole right side. Yeah, so the start we got one thing left, and I think it's a bit worth maybe showing his worth here and destroy it. A little bit hot, yeah, but it should be fine. Let's go for the leg, maybe we're lucky. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's only an Irby with nothing important, anyways. But so they got to the left side and the injuries together. Is it enough? Well, he panics, so yeah, it is enough. Let's see how much money we have to pay for the 10 destroyed buildings. I mean, it was an easy mission, right? And it was very lucky that we got the base uh, defend mission. Where the base defend actually was on the left side, uh, was actually in a corner. I never had it before, and of course that makes it much more easy because you know where they will arrive. Um, actually, I don't think I had to pay anything. Well, it to be assessed, it says, but I'm not really seeing anything. Of course, I made money. It was only ten buildings. It's really nothing. Well, I think I, I went in with I don't know how much actually. I don't remember how much I said at the start. I think it was around 240k. Could that be? We got a bonus of 10, 20, 30, 50%. Yeah, 
if I had around 240k plus 50% would be around 360, right? And he got the ammunition. So I'm not sure if that did anything. Maybe we're, we did not have uh, enough destroy yet. But it's still a nice amount of money. No injuries. And quite a few things that we could take. On the other hand, do we want to? Hollander sucks, Commando sucks, Javelin sucks, Panther sucks, Urbi sucks, Vesp sucks. <laughs> so, not really. Uh, 180 core though could be interesting for us. Let's just take all the, the good cores. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I destroyed 10 buildings on my own, you see. That was me. Uh, let's see. We got quite a few nice things, actually. We got the Commando, the Hollander, we got a full Javelin. Uh, one Panther, an Irby, two West Parts, LM15, an M Laser, an APC, the PPC, and a few ammo parts. Alright, so we actually had no injuries at all. We got a few nice parts, so there's that. We got a little bit of money so that we can continue with our upgrades. Let's take a look at our command center. Um, we have one convoy mission. We got another doodle. Uh, I want to quit in like 18 minutes or around that, so... Oh, ambush. So maybe let's take a look at the doodle. Against Comster, actually. Ooh, I don't know, man. 1-6 is usually enough though, on the other hand, it's still 1-6, one 1-7, one no, it's not worth it, well, let's see if we can do this, maximum is actually 55 tons, <laughs> artillery would be nice, but that's a little bit playing around too much, same with the Whitworth, it's nice, but, well actually, the damage is quite substantial by now. And he is heavily armored, after all. Well, let's take the Oscar out first, because while it is nice, not really usable here. Uh, Royal Sentinel currently has L Laser and UAC, which is not bad. He is heavily armored, there's that. The Cicada is a beast, so I definitely want to take a, uh, along the Cicada. The Phoenix Hawk, well, we got the LACs, they are also quite nice. But is it nicer than the Royal Sentinel? Or maybe even the Bitworth, because again, we got all, we got LM30 in there. So we could have the Cicada running around and the Bitworth standing uh, behind and firing at them. Well, the Royal Sentinel goes out, because if you take a Phoenix Hawk, he has much more armor. Let's see, it is lap dash. The Cicada is fixed. The question is, do we take the Phoenix Hawk? Uh, and you see see LAC, so maybe we can also go close. And that two LACs, it's quite nice. The damage is higher than they think it is, because it fires twice. It's usually not... Well, actually, it's already in there. 80 damage. Hmm. But the bit rough, man. Well, it's only 40 more. And we are much faster, we are really faster, so let's go with that, I guess. Uh, I don't have twin UAC-5s, I have one UAC-5 and a large laser. I don't have uh, enough weight just yet to do twin UAC-5s. I plan to do twin UAC-5s, but I cannot do that just yet. It would be like uh, a few tons too heavy, so 
if I get something like uh, a Chiro that uh, reduces the weight, then it might be, uh, or hopefully is possible, because that's my plan, how I want to do it. Let's see what we got. Maybe it's even easy. We'll see. If it is like the other the duel, that was so easy, man. I'm not sure if you saw that. All right, keep your eyes open and I had a duel with less than 35 solo duel. I went in with a Raptor, so 5 ERMs. And I had a Javelin with LM15, so I simply went close and, well, completely destroyed them. <laughs> it was very funny. Alright, so what do you have? This looks like an Owens and... Is it? Griffin or something similar? That looks quite heavy, but we'll see. Let's just stay in the woods. Got it. With high amount of evasion pips. Uh, let's see what happens. Alright, so... One is more heavy, one is less heavy. Will they move? Reserving action. Uh, I hate this so much. Shadowhawk. I don't know. He had uh, the this ammunition thingy here on, on that side. I don't recall seeing that on a Shadowhawk. Okay, right Maybe it's a variant or I simply ignored it. Who knows? Right. Hmm. What are we going to do? Well, we could hide maybe behind this stuff here. Yeah, let's like hide here. So they need to run around first. And we are in the woods and Shadow got six time. pips. So hopefully nothing bad will happen from that. Actually, we can even sensor lock him. This was the lighter mech, the Owen. So let's try to sensor lock the other mech. Which actually is a griffin. It really is a griffin. You get five evasion pips in. And you have a laser, two M lasers and a tag. Not too shabby. A relatively big core, and an XL. Got a normal heatsink kit, only SHS. C3 slave and beagle probe. So you probably will beagle probe us. Not much we can do uh, against that, I think. All right, and you? You? Oh, you're a nasty bugger. First off, you're uh, immune against warfare, of course, but still sense of impairs the calls. You got an ERPPC, two ERM lasers, and an LM15. That is nasty. Uh, you also got a pretty big core, so you should be pretty quick, and you are fully armored. So this is really a nasty customer. What else do you have? C3I. Oh, I want to have the C3I, man. I really want to have it. Ooh, and RT actually. Yeah, that's that is not nice. So really, let's just try to stay in the woods, you know. I mean, ooh, this will hurt me, but not much I can do. And who knows, maybe I get lucky. I uh, got one hit in at least. Oof. Could have been worse, at least the air PPC didn't hit. And he will have the first move, I think. He was the faster one. And he ran away and sensor locked me. Uh, I'm not sure that's a very good decision, because, yeah, center lock sucks, right? But, I'm fast, and I have the first turn, so my evasion is back up, and it only, in very big exclamation marks, only hurt me in this regard. Hmm, can we do... I don't know. Is that scope battle lot? Yeah, it's close, right? But if I can hit him really bad from the back. 
Well, I don't know. It was both good and not good. He lost everything here. The leg is also damaged and he lost over 100 armor from that. That is good. I'm here. But I'm not sure if we can do that a second time. Uh, if we go to here, how high is the chance? 44. That's not very high at all. Um, here to here. Still 6 pips. Probably our I best chance. Can. I, of course, hope he doesn't melee me. And we try to hit you from this side. Actually, which leg is that? Is it a, it's a left leg? Ah, oh, wrong side. 60% and only one hit again, man. I, I really hate this. Good thing he didn't go for a melee hit, and they already used up their, uh, their, the, how's it called? Their beacon. Completely missed here. So actually, it's looking quite good. You got four evasion pips though. That is quite yep. high. And if I go only here, I have like nothing, Thank so I would be hit it. quite badly. But if I go to like here and hit you again in the back, actually. Maybe disable the S, one of the, one of the lasers? I don't want to get overheated just now. Uh, if I kick you, it's actually a good chance that I destroy you completely. Moving to position. Let's see, just don't miss the kick, please. Oh, no, we didn't, good. Evasion is gone, hit him in the backside. That was not very no good. There was only one in the middle, you saw only one pop up. He's... Ah! I think he has extra structure or something like that. Because I hit him there and he has 124 out of 90. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'll run into his back, I guess. How much can we get um, as a maximum and still shoot him there? Four. Yeah, yeah. It's nasty. At least right now. So let's go like that. The chance is quite high. Really. Well, let's make sure it's even higher, right? I, pro I bet I hit four times, man. Oh, yeah. uh, I did actually do this. And he moves away just a little bit. Again, misses me. So there's that. And he can't have that much left, actually. Look at this. Yeah, that kinda hurts, but we are happily armored enough to, to survive that. Let's see, 65 here, 45 here, and still 124 there. And he's also spooked. Um, I'm tempted to kick him again, but then we need to bring him down. Because if not, uh, we are too close. Our backside is here. We can get to 5, I guess we take that. Because, yeah, kicking him would be nice, you know, but... If you have no evasion and he, and he hits us, we are so dead. Right, let's see how many hits we can get in. All hit, we actually ignore the jump jet. Oh, I like that shot. And only got 25 here, 31 here. S still 124 here, I guess we completely ignored that. Yes, Commander. Um, let's see, make, make something similar. Four, 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 six, six, five. Is it the best you can take? But you can't do it with precise strike. Five, actually. All right. I will take that. Slight overheating. Let's do precise strike. Make sure we hit. Oh, that looked good. Two times engine crit. Interesting. We hit the XL engine and the normal engine. Not sure how that is possible, to be honest. We were hit with the PPC though, but that's it. Engine crit twice, so he gets an additional 30% heat. He's already overheating. His LM15 is destroyed or jammed, not sure about that. And what we can't do much. 5, 11, that's looking good. Ready for order. Um. <laughs> Uh, it was destroyed? That's good. I, I didn't see it. I, I, well, yeah, I didn't see it. Full stop. Alright, next chance. 
That the misses were really stupid right now. Did you see the misses, man? I think I had 91% chance, or 80, or 90, something, something around that, and I missed twice. But yeah, still we destroyed one of the ERMs. He's panicked. Very helpful, of course. And I think I actually will go here and kick him. Or will I? Oh, he has a problem. When he walks, he will have a problem. I want to build up on that. Let's see what you can get. 40? So we hit the right one, he ejects! Good job! Re salvage parts. The maximum. And now you should be an easy target. That hurts, yeah, but that was. Oh, you a hole! Critical hit. Bad one, I think. But still, I that should have been the worst. Time for a little bit of revenge. Moving out. Get the evasion away Our and hit him where it hurts. Attack. Let's do the same yet again. Ah, we can't kick him from there. Damn it! I want you. I want to kick you though. Well, then mo just move to like here. On my way. Ninety-eight percent. So surely two hits, right? Oh, it's lagging. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Enemy down. Actually, that was really good. That was really good, people. It's lucky streaming today, actually. I think you wanted to do a movie stream, right? You know what, Graveyard? It actually was well fought for once. I'm surprised at myself. Right. It, it needed paid me out a million and I'm not sorry that I didn't go full salvage because the maximum would only be like uh, 2 7 or so oh yeah he wanted to play marsh oh look at the man it's actually a great loot. I think I actually want the C3i. Mostly because these are really, really rare. And they enable you to have a C3 slave, master, and ECM at, at the same time. Uh, it would, it's nice, yeah, but look this here. C3i means you have your C, C3 network and uh, Guardian ECM at the same time up. Man, too bad this wasn't a battle. Oh, this, um, I would have loved to have this loot, man. <sighs> but I wasn't able to take many parts, so let's see what else do I get. None of these. But I get an ERM, the ERPPC, the good core, I got ECM. Not bad at all. In addition to like, how many money did I get? Nearly a million? I think I do it on the... On the LRM, actually. Well, maybe. Yeah, I got the garden in addition. It's pretty nice. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure to have you there, uh, Greybeard. See you in the next time, hopefully. Bye bye. Right, so. Lucky he's still not streaming, right? Man, I. 
Let me take a look at my max. We have time. We will be refitting them when we are on the road, I guess. Oh, come on, it's only one part, right? Only the, oh, well, the upper arm. Fine. How long? One day? Acceptable. So maybe we can do one more mission. Depends what Lucky does. I would love to watch the Mayong though. So we c can't take too long. Let's see. Uh, did we already finish repairing? Yeah, we did, right? Good. Um. Sure, let's go convoy against pirates. So they basically probably won't have good loot, right? So I guess I go with three fifteen minutes, three more parts. So yeah, let's go with this. Oh yeah, and get this in. Apply, deploy. Oh no! I wanted to have Knuffle in there actually, not not me. Uh, should it work out? Alright, so let's see. What do we have? Sorry. Um, well, not much. It's a capture zone. And I'm not seeing any enemies so far. In motion, Commander. I'm there. Position confirmed. Oh, the virtual plus. What we could use. Actually, we could have used gun a little bit of less on here. Get the upper hate again. It's going live with Marsh. Well, let's just finish this quickly then, right? Thanks for the info, though. The convoy is there. Where are the pirates? Behind me, actually. Oh. The whole point is behind me. Ah, uh, interesting. Do you have your vast? Okay. With Ooh, that's not nice. There are quite many LRMs, and they all hit. At least it's a heavy wheel, but still. Ah, you got RLs. I see. Well, L bolts are still quite nasty, so you will be a priority target. What do you have? That was super useless. Uh, this is a hunter, I think. So, more rockets. Please stop shooting my convoy. I need my convoy to make me money. Right. Uh, okay, we could do this. Go here and the uh, down again. LM20 and Flamer. You actually. You're really nasty, man. You're really nasty. Even more nasty than the Vest is. The Vest has end pulses, which are nasty. But you? Flamer and working LRMs? No, that's not nice at all. They all concentrate fire on the same machine and they're actually hitting them so well. What do you want? Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's roll. Good. Same variant. 
Yes, also LRM and Flamers. 28, 28. Let's hope you can hit the best. You shouldn't have much in the way of armor and so on. <laughs> Not a single hit! It was only 40% uh, four times, right? So, you know. You know. Actually, this would be worth it, since you are long range, anyways. No Let's go for you. Oh, that was. Did we hit it? Yeah, we did. Hit with everything, even. Good to go. The lab dash now, well, you're on the other side of the planet, basically. Full speed, no target. What numbers we can do about that? 24, 24, 27, please. Damn it. I think the game is telling me you should stop playing, you should go and watch Lucky. And that's why I have me having all these misses right now. Anyway, 70% hit shot. Now that is looking better, man. Let's go. The Vesp usually doesn't have much, so I hope I can. With a few hits, I can take it out, or at least its weapons. Well, at least he left armor already. Standing by. You actually can go up here. That's very fine. Way. Uh, let's see if we can hit you. Oh, I don't know if it was a direct hit, but at least he's unsubtle, so I think he's hitting a little bit less good. And you actually another Vasp, are you, are you saying? No, you're another one. You're attacking the Prowler Multi-Terrain Vehicle. Can you please not drive closer? You retard. Oh, that was nice. I mean, this is a convoy that I need to protect, right? And they drive headlong into the enemy. Why are they doing this to me? Doesn't matter much with you, but with you, hopefully, I can get one or two hits in. Oh, that looked good. Actually destroyed. Very nice. Target neutralized. Should be fine. Yep. What do you want? Right. Phoenix Hawk. Um. Um, um, actually. Quick stepping it. So there are actually two things I could do. I could shoot at you. And this actually may be a good idea. Or I could simply send the lock. Send the lock someone. No, I want to shoot at you. Oh, it was a good decision because all the attacks hit. And they all went to the same attack and exposed yes. structure. Right, slapdash. Uh, slapdash can use that and kick the side. It should be enough to destroy it already. Without even the lasers. Yep. Alright, this is two out of four. So hopefully I can get the convoy through. What do you want? Now, what else do I have? I got you, for example, the Whitworth. Well, stay on top, I guess. How's hit chance? Oh, she's super good against both. So let's go Battle Lord and try to hit the last. Nice. Destroyed the M laser and actuators. Unsettled on top. Uh, you only have SM2, yes. so that is not much at all. I don't want to go too close with you, actually. Let's go to, like, Moving. here. 
at Battle Lord and try to shoot at the Wasp. Oh, come on! 60% and all four shots are missing. I wanted, like, one hit at least, because that would have been enough to destroy the Wasp, probably. But there goes that, both sides destroyed probably enough to disarm it. It is. Commander. But still, that was still nasty and stupid. Alright, let's try a look. Should it you and quite close a little bit of more orange numbers? Could have been worse, could have been better. Uh, this way the heatsink? Yeah, okay. And you? With. Rest him. Okay. Better than nothing, I guess. You jump and do nothing? That means I actually have time to act? I well, kinda, because you go for your pretty talk, anyways. Just a scratch, Commander. What's up, boss? Yeah, now you're, s you're dead. Um. I have more than enough to kill you dead, though, so. Double time. Let's you go. can go after the Wasp. Um, just precise strike, I guess. Actually, not destroyed yet. Got lucky. And he panicked. Acceptable. What is it already? Uh, just keep on going. I expect uh, the reinforcements come from somewhere around here. Yes. So I want to move a little bit closer first before I do anything else. Moving. Mech destroy. It was a vehicle, but it's fine. Waiting Three parts. I take that. Around here probably comes the reinforcements. And actually, I guess these are the zones where they can come from, right? So, actually, let's take a look. I doubt that they will come from here, because they are too far away to be in the battle, actually. And this here is the point where they can come from, so I guess either here or directly next to it. No, probably from atop here, then. If that actually means landing zones, that is. So around here would be perfect for me, we'll, but we'll see. Yes, Commander. On my way. Double time. Uh, one more round, probably. So this should be over in like five, ten minutes max, and then we can go to Lucky. Whoever else is still in here, at least. Which reminds me. Let me prepare that. Copy that. Move order received. So, let's see. Where are you coming from? We're actually coming around here. Well, uh, it's fine. It's only one mech? No, two, I think it's are two. Uh, the Hollander is a bit nasty. Thankfully he shot at the Whitworth and not at the... Uh, at my convoy. Because the convoy could have gotten down pretty easily. Firestarter is also not very cool, but we should be able to weather that. Um, from here we can take a small pot shot at least. At the Hollander that is uh, not, not really worth it though. Active probe is perfect, so he can shoot or can hit me less, and he has no evasion, and you will be the target of my artillery. 
moves and fires at the off-scout, as expected. How's the heat going? Light damage. Nothing at all. Confirmed. Good job. That's actually going very well. Yes. Right. So you will be a nice target and the others can just go... After the fire starter. Should be easy. Finally we hit with everything, so also good. Commander? Um Leroy Sentinel. Got closer, yes. Copy that, I think Commander. a bit too close actually. Because we, I think we have a malus for going too close. Uh, but still. For the chance, hopefully. We've got a few nice hits in. Little lap dash. Can do something similar to the Cicada. That could already be enough to destroy the fire starter, actually. Uh, maybe no, not yet that. Just go with this. Aye, aye. Yes, there goes. One flavor, one M laser. The MG, engine critted. Good. Total destroyed. And, 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 and. Uh, you can wait one longer. And you intensify firepower and target the Hollanda. Ah, oh, that was a very bad shot. I guess it was too far and the hate and so on, but still, that was a really bad shot. Uh, let's just move a little bit closer then. Go battle lot, and you're kinda slow anyway, so I can't target you next round. You are quicker, so I want to do a little bit damage in you. Ah, look at this. That's a great amount of armor. Uh, you actually move and you can attack something. That should be a bit rough. No, actually, if it's... If it's oh. There goes my bonus! There goes my bonus payment. You asshole. Put him with the AC-10. Insta-killed him. And... That is my bonus. Holy moly, I hate you. Uh, how are you looking? Well, from the front? So that you get it from I the front it. then. Uh, I hate this. I hate this so much. This is like 20 or 30 percent bonus that I lost from this one shot. I really hate this. Uh, my poor money. Let's roll. Standing by. Roger, skipper. Taking it. Well, let's take this guy out. Firing all weapons. Yes, commander. And now we go full battle lot. Uh, left arm destroyed, actually just destroyed. And panic ejected. You asshole. All this money Successful. destroyed with one shot. Uh. Right, reinforcement is 10%, but ah, man. Anyways, let's do this on the quick. Let's see what can we get. Uh, 315. I don't want a Hollander. Whole fire starter would be nice. I don't want uh, a Vast or a Hunter. Uh, bah. So let's take the fire starter, a second, and the big course. In addition, we get two Hunters, two Vasps. Flamer times 3, LM20, Impulses, MG, LM10, and I think another big core. I'm not too shabby. 
Let me wait until we are back so that we don't get an, an unfortunate accident like the last time. And then we can go and raid Lucky. Well, at least you and me. Come on, game. Right, there we are. Quit the desktop. Quit. It will save automatically and let's do the small mini raid. We'll see you there.